Hey guys, I'm back from my lunch break. Um, actually, I'm at home doing this game. But anyhow, let's get back to the process. Excuse me for a minute. Just need to uh, put my headphones in there so I can actually uh, listen to it a bit more clearly. I'll leave that potion till later. Here we go. Venomous tentacular, beware, Hagrid. That's a venomous tentacular. I got three words for you. Dinner is served. <laughs> the soul friend's on the other side, but we we'll have to go through. We'll have to go all the way over to get it. Yeah, all the way to get it, yeah. No worry, we're just taking care of this venomous tentacular. I killed it. By using my dark magic. Hey, here's some puffer pods. They're great fun to throw about. I hear they make troll sneeze too. Do they? Puffer pod patch. Good fun to throw around, Hagrid. Never mind, I'll just. Or clumps. Only approach with a Wingardium Leviosa spell, Hagrid. Might as well just lift them all up. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa! Nintendo! Wingardium Leviosa! You want your beans badly? Ah! Got ya! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Never mind. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Uh. Wingardium Leviosa! I better be careful, I'm low on health. The next one. Wingardium Leviosa. I've done it. I've done it all. Here's the sloth brain. Or the sloth brain, as we may call it. I found the sloth brain. Now 
to drink this potion and regain our strength. We must rely on the courage of our dignity. And oh, what's the point? So let's just Harry, meet me in the dungeons, your friend, Hermione. Now we got get to go to the down to the dungeons. This is going to be really hilarious. Bazinga! Great! You found the slow frame. Let's get back to Hogwarts. You bet. The race for the House Cup continues. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Oh, Slytherin's gonna catch up with us. But we'll beat them for a hundred to one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Let's go down to the dungeons. Let's go and give Snape his missing potion ingredient. We'll be in big trouble if he catches us here. He'll think we're the ones who stole it. I'll, uh, gotcha. Um, then again, maybe I'll just wait here. Snape gives me the willies. Right. Ah, Potter has found the sloth brain. Was it clever hunting or a thief's guilty conscience? So where was it, Potter? Within your own head? Bring it to class. I love that humor. And so much that I happened to fail to sense the humor. If you want to know, that was sarcasm. Since I am a deadpan snarker. Now we can't go back. So we'll just save our game right here. Portrait room. And we can't go back either. So we're stuck here then. Heading for potions class, Harry. Don't be late. Snape's a royal pain. He's always looking for an excuse to take house points away from Gryffindor. We need green every flavour beans for our next experiment. You know, the troll bongy ones. Bring us the beans and we'll give you the password for the portrait. Yeah, Snape is definitely a pain. But to everyone else, it's actually great humorous. Oh yeah, we haven't conquered the Verdimedia spell quite yet. At last, Harry! I have an idea what a stolen object from Gringotts may be. But we'll have to attend Potion's class first. Come on, Harry. We don't want to keep Snape waiting. 
Oh yeah, Snape is going after Quirrell's job for years. Uh, let's see what damage he can possibly give us. Now pay attention, Potter. To mix a Wigan Weld potion, first activate the cauldron. Then you have to press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. If you manage to fill your cauldron, which I doubt, you'll be able to activate the cauldron to retrieve the potion. Your turn, Potter. Okay, here it goes. For Gryffindor! Here we go. I've done that and the time was really slow. But anyway, I'll beat you, Snape. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better. Butter, I've never seen such pathetic work. Go fetch the jar of fireflies from the adjoining room. Oh yeah, let's. Okay, that right here. This was really messed up. And it sent Harry down into further into the dungeons where the trolls are kept. Yeah, in a place of untold danger. The trolls' dungeons. Huh, they're kind of ugly for a pair of trolls. until you fall. I'll hold my ground until the last possible moment. Waiting to throw and invade! Hope you enjoy the afterlife. I hear her down there meowing. Answer the question once and for all. Why did you bring the cat over to the well if you're going to lose it? Maybe you're just doing it obviously to annoy us. But anyway, let's go to the point. Negatory. We 
Wingardium Leviosa. There we go. Here you go, Raymond. Here's your kitten back. Thanks, Harry. Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card for you. Edgar Stulga. Anyway, let's give us a point. Okay. Right. This is going to be one of those tricky question, tricky uh, puzzle things uh, that we have to do, huh? Nearly died. Since I'm obsessed with game deaths. On the way back, I'll think I'll just jump into that uh, mixture after I collected all those beans. So long, suckers! Now to get into the troll's bedroom. Why we need to keep ourselves silent. Okay, troll sleep during the day. Yep. Troll sleep during the day. I'll wait for him to fall asleep. Then I'll just grab the key and. It's a wake up call. What are the panhandles? Uh oh, trolls again. Hide, hide! Those creatures are really. We'll avoid those ugly hunk of idiots.
Look at him. That pathetic club and that stupid hair. But it looks good on him, eh? We found the fireflies. Eventually. Whew. Here we go. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Give me those fireflies. I do this again. I need to do. I need to put, apply the lava dip bomb to keep me relaxed. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quiddle is about to start, and you're already late. Yeah, right. You're just doing that for an excuse to get us out of here. It has a time limit, Snape. Remember that. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I need to. It's a bit complicated. I have to collect thirty bots, every flavor beans, and get to the pop that uh, defense against the dark arts class at the same time. But I'm sure flyable. I can't pull a stone like that. That's suicide. Uh oh. Right. Well, thank you kindly. Just in time. Welcome, young Mr. Potter. To d d defense against dark arts, you're just in time. Gather round, class. I'm P Professor Quirrell, and this is your d defense against the dark arts lesson. You may begin, Harry. Today we'll learn a most powerful spell, Vladimir. Are you okay? Get ready. Quirrell, you seem a bit nervous. was good. Excellent. Perfect. Mm, more like a nervous wreck. Concentration, please. It's going to get difficult. He really needs to see a doctor. I think there's something wrong with him. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, this one's gonna get really hard. Watch out for this one. Thank you. Oh dear. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. 
<sighs> you may now enter the chamber one at a time to practice the Verdimilius spell. Now, Harry, let's see how you d defend yourself against the d dark arts. First, cast your Verdimilius spell toward the d darkness. Observe how the Verdimilia spell flares, forcing back the d darkness, lighting the path across. F -f Follow the path quickly, as your spell will only hold off the d darkness for a brief time. Good luck, young wizard. Here we go. Here goes nothing! Bloody Yes! Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Harry, I've been waiting for ages. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? That must be where the stolen object is. Let's split up and look for a way up there. Good luck, Harry. Let's have a look in that doorway. Or oh, so we thought. Let's have a look through that uh, doorway. Actually, I'll come back a little later. I want to get the easy ones done first. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck. As I am perfectly safe. Here we go, it's perfectly safe. Places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Mm. 
look that up when I've col when I've collected all of them at least. Is me. I'm going to have to go back and see. Uh, nearly had this snake, and let's see if he can resolve it. Oh dear, shall I reset the cauldron through her? Hello, Harry, within the time. cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. to the final cauldron game in the dungeons.
has done it! Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Let's get out of here quick before anything else happens. to the next part, which is the exit of the dungeons, but until it's blocked off by those curses. Someone has been casting spells of the dark arts, Harry. It's all very peculiar, I must say. The exit to the dungeons is blocked by a horrendous set of curses. Dark arts magic, I'm sure. There are four curses, and each must be dispelled before the door will unlock. The actual curses are hidden around the dungeon. Once found, use your knockback jinx to dispel them. I don't think you've dispelled all the curses yet, have you? Yep, those pesky little midgets are actually annoying us now. Now, let's get back to... And let's go into that. Let's go around the dungeons and let's... We'll save our game. Okay, let's go into the dungeons where we meet none other than Peeves, a poltergeist. Why, it's Potty Wee Potter! I'm Peeves Potter, and you better watch out for me! Whatever! Young Potter, you're ugly, but what could we do? You're ugly as well, are you? Everyone says you belong in a zoo. And so do you. If you look in a mirror, it surely will crack. <laughs> the best thing to do is wear a light nice sack. First of all, Peeves. Beauty is found within. Ugly or not, we are still. Oh, whatever. What's the point? Maybe if, if you were, if you're real, peace, I will transform you in some sort of ugly, hideous beast. And unless, if you're willing to redeem yourself, you remain this way forever. Let's have a look in there. It'll be like going around in circles. We found one. That's one gone.
craps. I, I don't know. So we will keep looking. Is that the dark? Is that the night of shining armor? to go. Found it, the final one.
it's just like going back in. Oh, I'm going around in circles. Every door seems to be the same. I don't, I don't care which. Curses. Whoever put them there really wants to stop students exploring the castle. Oh my, look at the time. You've been down here for so long, the transfiguration class is about to start. Uh, don't be late. Professor McGonagall is head of Gryffindor House. You don't want to upset her. The transfiguration class is situated in the upper castle. You can gain access to it from Gryffindor Tower. Collected all the beans. I need to do the favor. Hey, Harry, have you got those green every flavor beans? Huh, <laughs> nice work. The password for the portrait is Wanglewort. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I haven't gave Fred and George those blue every flavor beans yet. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. At least in here you'll be safe. Find Fred and George in the castle grounds and hand them over those blue every flavored beans. Take a look at a text message. I'll answer that later. Wow, 
Well done. You've got enough blue every flavor beans. Mmm. Blueberry pie. My favorite. Thanks, Harry. The password for the ground's portrait is cat weasels. Watch out for Snape, Harry. He shows up when you'd least expect him. Yep, Snape is a false antagonist to that film. But I'm not going to reveal too much if you haven't seen the film. Because I might want to give away the spoilers. I'm the master of giving away huge spoiler alerts. Weasel. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Oh, I guess I'll have to open up for you now. <laughs> All right. is Albus Dumbledore. Eh, but we'll, uh, we'll read the phone. Girl, you're my guy as soon as I collected all the cards. If you'll have to excuse me, there's a text message I have to reply. You know. Sorry about that, guys. Just some pesky uh, text message that I have to reply to. E -E. Well, famous witches and wizards card in my collection. We'll save our game just in case. Perfect. There we go.
Okay, the Transfiguration class is over there. It's timed version on this one again, but... Okay, I'm gonna have to focus on this one, as usual. I'll put my phone on silent, so I won't get any text messages. That will disrupt it. Here it goes. Just in time. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Here we go, just put my phone back. There we go, we're just in time, as usual. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Aviforce. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Very well, let's keep going. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. Okay, let's get this done. Uh, Abbey Fords! I've done it. Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the class. And here we go. Now, the house points update. Let's begin. Meanwhile, the house point hour glasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on House What? Bus. The race for the House Cup is heating what? up. I cannot believe it. I 
apologies there if I just swore. I just can't help the self of using extreme profanities. But I'll probably uh, censor it. I always censor it out. Abby Ford. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Filthy habit. He has got. Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavour beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Ah, oh, well, that is just great. And I just died. And we've lost it. Ooh. Well, there it goes. Bang! There goes the pyramids! I've done it. You collected all ten Bertie Bot's beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. At least can cats land on their feet, do they? But it's a logical explanation, but I can't be bothered to find out why. If Harry Potter learns karate, I'm going to use it for revenge. Slippery flobber mucus, just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter. What a cheat. Barnacles. I bet he's going to be catching up to us. And I died again. How terrible is that? If I lose, he wins. I'm going to start again. Without any more foul loves. I'm 
more from Mercy. Is this the end of TP Percival? I'm way ahead of you, Pete, so don't even try. Oh, tartar sauce! I think peace has really have been at work. I better pull myself together. These things aren't alive! my energy is more since so I'll lose my health and he's gonna be winning that far <laughs> disappeared from plain sight how great what a cheat How'd you like those apples, peeves? Of one. What a cheat! Not fair! Peeve wasn't ready! You're the one who's cheating. Yeah, Peeve doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back! Now tell me, Peeves, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Let's find out. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. I have the invisibility cloak. Just collect the bean. We'll collect several beans that we might need to get. to the Forbidden Corridor, where we need to avoid the person that is none other than Mr. Argus Filch. Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Well, that's just going anyway. If we get caught, he'll throw us back out. But to be on the bright side, he doesn't take away house points because he's not a professor. <laughs> Keep out of his sight. If he sees you, you're thrown out.
that one's already sealed. Yes, Mr. Finch, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Can we, Mr. Fitch? No, indeed, Professor Snape. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. And the invisibility cloak wears off. If I were you, I would just keep out of the way of Mrs. Norris until she's gone. When she reaches that pole, I'm going to I'm going to jump down anyway, wait for her to turn round, and then I'll continue. just nearly stopped. But not to worry, we'll do this. Easy as pie. But it's a stealth mission, so be aware. Okay, that one's going to be really, really hard. If Velch sees us, we're dead. Well, I doubt it. Here's the Mirror of Erised, one of the uh, major plot elements in the film. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. 
Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? Thought Harry. The unthinkable. That's what. But anyway, let's get back to the plot. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Oh, that troll's out on the loose. That is one cheesed off ogre. Oh, I mean troll. Anyway, I'll just save my game and take a little break. Go on to the next part. I will see you guys in the next video.